Hi, my name is Christoph. Welcome to the Quick Secure Workshop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I solved the problem that we encountered. Um, here where we stay, we get our water, it gets pumped from a dam, uh, but a lot of times we get the water out of our taps, it's very strong smell of chlorine, and lately it came out brown, uh, because of all the rain, the rivers, uh, a lot of mud get wa gets washed into the dam, and then our our drinking water, the tap water gets like, brown. So I decided finally um, to do something about it. Um, so what I did, uh, we have an existing water tank, rainwater collection tank, and after doing some investigation, I found that the water inside the tank was quite clean. Um, not not a lot of uh, rubbish in, in the tank um, and that was partly due to a natural filter system that existed in the, in the gutter which was consisting of uh, a lot of plants and stuff that was growing in the gutter so I had to clean all of that out and uh, in the future I'll have to do something uh, to, to create a trap um, like a first flush trap or something but in the meantime we've got clean water and all I, all I did is I bought a little pressure pump and I plumbed it into our existing uh, uh, plumbing so without any further ado see how I did that So here is the old fitting that I removed. Um, I didn't film it, it was raining and I was soaking wet, but I can explain to you um, what I encountered, the problem. Um, this thing was quite stuck in that fitting there, if you can see there. that plastic fitting so when I try to undo this um, it just caused that whole fitting to unscrew and I didn't want this to start leaking because that fitting there this tank is full and it's it's 2500 liters of water so um, that screw there in order for me to lock it, I just put some super glue and bicarb into the thread there. And that caused these two things to be locked. And then I was able to remove the old one, this one, without any problems. It came out without uh, that thing turning. So there's a tip for you if you if you have the same problem because these uh, things they can be they are tapered and they can get stuck into that plastic and then everything just turns around if you try and you can't hold it with a spanner here because that inner part is turning around so when I und and did the other one the water was just everywhere and I just left the valve open pushed it in and screwed it in and there wasn't a lot of waste uh, I would say I just lost maybe 20 liters so that was a success now from this point I can connect this to the pump
So what I have here is a pump. It's a 1.5 horsepower electric jet motor pump. And this is the setup I'm going to be using it as with the pressure switch. So when the pressure drops in the pipes on the other side of the pump um, where my house is then the pump will kick in automatically and pressurize the water this goes on top here and the, the power comes into the one side um, and this goes in there and it gives as soon as the pressure drops um, it senses the pressure dropped and it gives power to the to the motor to keep the pressure four bar so let's see these fittings this is gonna go there So, and this one, the uh, I need a piece of pipe to connect them. I think it's going to be better for me put this motor here like that some concrete or something and run the pipe from there to there like so then it's out of the way because I want to make a covering for it a box or something to protect it from the elements It's important that there's no leaks, so rather be generous with this Teflon tape. It's cheap. Firstly, I want to secure this. So I put the bolts in and what I want to do is mix some concrete there and then I'm just going to place these bolts into the concrete that will anchor it very well.
so I've set it in concrete and well that is uh, setting um, I'm gonna level it out and it just needs to turn a little bit like this So now the tank is connected to the pump in the inlet and that's the outlet and we need to put a non-return valve on that side and from there I'm going to put the, the piping to the house. This is what the non-return valve looks like. And it's got an arrow pointing the direction of the flow. My Teflon tape is finished and uh, but I've got plenty of this. I actually think this is better. It's hemp. You buy it at a plumbing shop. And I'm just going to redo this. Rather using this. Now the trick is you go, if you look at the fitting like this, you go clockwise around. And this will not leak. And I like like to wet it a little bit, and then screw it into the fitting. Mm -hmm. Um, the next thing is a connector to reduce that fitting to the copper pipe size. I want to put an outside tap there and then we carry on. Just want to get the length. Now all I need to do is tidy up the, the wiring and the installation is done. Everything went 
fairly easy. Uh, I had some problems with my uh, my plumbing uh, way the the outlet of the pump is not directed in the same direction as what I wanted the plumbing to go so I had to back the, the pipe up um, back from where where my, my plumbing is and I basically closed the main water supply and I'm just pressurizing the whole system with the rainwater and then um, hope for the best. There's a problem with some of the taps in my house doesn't get any water. Um, so after thinking a little bit um, I realized that what happens inside one of the valves um, which um, I actually thought of but I didn't realize it's going to be such a big issue um, what happened is because I'm feeding the water the different way as what it normally comes and there's a little arrow on the on this valve um, and that's for a reason so the way the inside of the tap works is it the valve uh, opens in such a way that when water is fed in the right direction it's no issue because the water just comes in from underneath the valve and and gets out on top of it but when the water is fed in the opposite the opposite direction this valve actually works like a one-way valve um, so the water comes in the top of the valve and presses down on the seat and closes basically closes it uh, we've got five bar of pressure um, pushing uh, on top of this valve and it and it's not working so all I did is I opened the valve and I removed this part and the problem was solved so if you do something like this you'll have to to assess and see uh, maybe call in a plumber to help you to to determine the, the, the best way of doing so I've got many options now with this setup I can use the rainwater I can fill the, the tank as a, as a backup reservoir for when there's a, a, a water outage that also sometimes happen the only drawback of the system is that if there's a power failure then uh, we don't have water uh, so unless I so that's the only drawback of this system but if it really comes to the to the push um, I always have the option to open the main valve again close this valve and open the main valve and then we back on on the water supply from from the municipality i really hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for some further future uh, upgra upgrades that i will do to the system uh, i'll do a video on on the gutter because that's a whole whole video on itself to to make a, a system that that prevents the leaves and rubbish from the roof to, to get into the tank. So have a great week and I'll see you next time.